Hello, this is a demonstration video about a vision therapy instrument called the Kyroscope. It's basically like a stereoscope, only it also involves a drawing pad. So one eye would be fed a mace or whatever image you would like to show it. An easier version would be an image like a smurf. And the other eye would be, would be seeing a blank sheet of paper. And if you would draw the smurf, if you use the smurf, you would have to draw in the colors, for example, using both eyes, obviously, because you can only combine both images with both eyes. And with the maze, which is a harder exercise, you would try to solve the maze, obviously. And depending on whether you're any good at this, whether you can align your eyes, the image you draw will make sense or not. Like, when I started vision therapy four years ago, and I would try to draw in the colors of a smurf, my solution on the sheet of paper would be all over the place because every time I refixated my eyes, I would be looking somewhere else with my right eye, for example, in this case. And I would, be, I would start drawing somewhere else. So the result wouldn't make sense at all. But as I got better, I improved. And right now I'm at a pretty good level, as you can see. Uh, in the beginning, because every time I refixated my eyes and the relative position of the images changed, I would try to solve the exercise by just looking in the middle and fixating and not move my eyes and then use my peripheral vision. But right now that I'm getting better, I can actually refixate my eyes without completely losing the relative position of both images. So that's why at this point I can solve a maze like that because you need to look at details and not just fixate in the middle and use peripheral vision. You need to fixate on, on details and then refixate and refixate and it still has to make sense or everything has to make sense. And I'm getting pretty good at this as you can see. There's still some errors like this if I would have done the exercise perfectly, this wouldn't happen. I wouldn't transgress a line I drew earlier because that's not possible in the real maze. So I still, there's still some accuracy I need to work on and certainly some stamina because like this was when I was fresh, but if you would have me do this exercise at night, I would, it wouldn't make sense like it does now. Um, so depending on whether your eye alignment is pretty stable or not, you will be getting better at this exercise. The gyroscope was invented by a guy named Maddox. He's famous, more famous, more known for the Maddox rod. And he said something pretty clever about it, about his invention. He said the gyroscope approaches the problem from a different and complementary angle on the simple principle of pressing the hand into service to educate the eye. And I think that's a great quote because vision therapy is all about integration. It's not just about aligning the eyes, but it's also about integrating this eye alignment into your overall cognitive functioning. And this exercise not only forces you to align your eyes and refixate and keep the relative position of these images pretty consistent but it also involves you moving your hand and drawing and doing other things maybe if you're getting even more advanced so that's why it's a great exercise for kids to who maybe who might be struggling to read or to write or whatever. So this was the Kyroscope. I hope you learned something and let me know what you think. Bye.